Mr. Albeit. Oh, you're here with your son. Yes, obviously. We have to talk with you, and it involves the police. I see. Gulliver, go across the road to Mrs. James. This is an adult conversation. Hold on just one second, please. Uh, a pygmy? As I suspected. Albeit brought him back from Brazil. You were both slaves there and you escaped together, am I correct? You are. We are companions through life to death. He's more like a brother to me. It's clear enough now. You and your accomplice are guilty to the murder of Zacharias Greystoke. They had to pay for what they did. If only I'd had the time to get all of them. But Gulliver only did what I told him. It's for the judge to decide that. But given the nature of judges, I doubt that he will be lenient towards a pygmy who kills an Englishman. Mr. Albeit. Oh, you're here with your son. Yes, obviously. We have to talk with you, and it involves the police. I see. Gulliver, go across the road to Mrs. James. This is an adult conversation. Hold on just one second, please. Uh, a pygmy? As I suspected. Albeit brought him back from Brazil. You were both slaves there and you escaped together, am I correct? You are. We are companions through life to death. He's more like a brother to me. So he's the murderer? But he was merely obeying his master. Yes, I'm the one who planned the murder. I'm the one responsible. You wanted them to pay for what they did to you? True. Now I don't care what happens to me, I'll be dead soon. But Gulliver? You have to let him go. I wasn't planning to arrest you, only that we might know the truth. Although I regret that Gulliver must leave England and return to his own country. Shame, but thank you, Mr. Holmes. 